many of the mainstream media are looking for kind of a conventional, a campaign type tour. And I've said from the beginning, this isn't a campaign tour, except to campaign on our Constitution, our Charters of Liberty. And they want uh, kind of the conventional uh, idea of we want a schedule, we want to follow you, we want you to bring us along with you. I'm like, hey, I don't think I owe anything to the mainstream media. I think that it would be a mistake for me to become some kind of conventional politician and doing things the way that it's always been done with the media in terms of relationship with them. Tell them to come along and we'll orchestrate this, we'll script this, and we'll basically write a story for you, media, about what we're doing every day. No, I want them to have to do a little bit of work on a tour like this. Sarah Palin going on the record there with Greta Van Susteren. The Palin family is on the One Nation tour of historical sites and the media trying to keep up with her along the way. So, Judy, what do you think? Is she just toying with the media here? I think she's having a wonderful time with the media, turning us into paparazzi, as one commentator noted. You know, the other thing that strikes me about Sarah Palin is how much the media, some in the media, really do hate her. I mean, the, the commentary, Gloria Borger saying, okay, get on with it already, and stop tweeting, trying to tweet your way into relevance. I mean, there have been some really, really <laughs> nasty comments about her. There have been some nice ones, too, like this one from Michelle Malkin, who wrote this week, in the 1970s, the boys on the bus exposed how a clubby pack of male political reporters ruled the road to the White House and shaped the news. Four decades later, an outsider gal from Alaska has commandeered the 2012 media bus, and left Beltway Journalism Insiders eating her dust. We've come a long way, baby. Does that sum it up? <laughs> yeah, but I don't think it's that surprising that Michelle Malkin's saying nice things about her. I think if you look at the mainstream media, there's just a lot of hostility towards her. And, you know, pretty much everything she does makes them angry. And I think what she said was exactly right. She owes them nothing. She does not have to play by the their rules and it's it's actually kind of refreshing to see somebody who just says screw you to these people who <laughs> treat her like garbage. Yeah, the, the media Jim have been saying to her that she is not respecting them because she wasn't you know letting them know her schedule her itinerary in advance and so forth and they are warning that that's going to hurt her with hurt her yeah hurt her with voters but the but the question is I mean, it's not the voters who are angry with her, it's the media. Right, and so Chris Matthews, who says she's the most divisive politician since the Civil War, you know, <laughs> oh, no. uh, he, she's got a long way down. She can go lower than that in Chris Matthews' eyes, right? <laughs> I, I, I got I to gotta tell you, I saw the sneak preview of a new movie by Stephen Bannon called The Undefeated. It's about Sarah Palin. It's this documentary coming out later in the summer. And in there, there's a brilliant quote from Andrew Breitbart saying, the thing that the media hate about Sarah Palin is that she refuses to cooperate with her own demise. That is, she <laughs> refuses to play ball with the reporters while they try to kill her. Good for her. You're nodding in agreement, I guess. Yeah, it's absolutely true. Dan Balls from the Washington Post sums it up. She has mastered the art of playing with the media. And it also exposed this week how wimpy the media are. I mean, they came out and were whining that they're in this is endangering their health and chasing after her might hurt them. I mean, buck up already. <laughs> I mean, for people that dislike her so much, they sure are obsessed with her. I mean, it's like a fatal attraction thing. I mean, yeah, but get you, over it already. How do you get elected president if she's running? And we still don't know. How do you get elected president with such hostility on the part of the lamestream media? You're she saying calls she couldn't us. do it? She couldn't overcome that? I'm saying it's really hard to overcome dislike and intense hatred of that kind. Yeah, it's true. It's very difficult. I mean, when the media turned on Hillary, you saw what happened. It, you know, they were behind her and then they decided no we're gonna go with Obama and it's very hard to fight that right. but, but it's a little unclear what she plans to do I mean I mean it, all, all we know for sure is that she's got the best reality show on TV it's a reality show without a set it's wherever she goes the reality show is and that's compelling but and, maybe, maybe that's and her tour is I think frustrating a lot of members in the GOP, the Tim Pawlentys that don't have high name ID, who are just clamoring for some media and they even they even came out Pawlenty came out this week told the news outlet we got to get off these bus tours. I mean, they're really jealous. She's sucking the oxygen out. <laughs> and the yep. media is helping her. Jessica Yellen from CNN called the coverage, the media coverage of the bus tour, a low point 
in journalism, and yet CNN has its cameras <laughs> chasing after her. I mean, can they have it both ways? Well, Jessica does isn't responsible, I think, for what the CNN covers, and so this is her personal opinion. You know, CNN is going. You know, I think she probably was criticizing CNN as well, not thinking that this was something they should be covering. That it wasn't. She's not a declared candidate, and uh, you know, she just gets all this attention just for being Sarah. Well. You know, ABC, NBC, some of the other networks have pretty much labeled her unelectable, and yet they book her on their shows because she gets ratings, right? She, look, she gets, there, there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> I think the technical word for what you're talking about, John, is hypocrisy. <laughs> <laughs> In media, surely not. <laughs> yeah. Talking about uh, some of the other candidates, I mean, Mitt Romney made his big announcement this week, and it was sort of squelched by all of the Sarah, um, Sarah Palin. She group. was over, I mean, Mitt Romney, poor Mitt Romney was overtaken by Sarah Palin's clam bake. I mean, this is just <laughs> astonishing. I think it, it's hilarious. <laughs> I, think, I think she's a genius. I mean, really, she rolled into New Hampshire. She squashed his announcement. Republicans <laughs> yawned anyway. And the media, I mean, they pulled out of his live announcement, all the major networks. They were yawning.